here with meteorologist Daniel Graves after a beautiful Saturday and really we've had pretty beautiful weather for the last few days. Yeah, it has been really nice, almost spoiled even, <laughs> but uh, we should be in these temperatures for this time of year. It should be feeling kind of nice. We're in the middle of October. We are looking at warmer temperatures though for the rest of the weekend and going into early next week, but there is another cold front that's going to be pushing south. Here it is right now and it's bringing showers and storms across parts of East Texas and northern Louisiana spreading up into Arkansas. It's going to take a little while for it to push toward the south, so it is going to keep the rain chances out of our area for tomorrow before those rain chances start to increase on Monday. So looking at a pretty picture perfect evening for us with not much showing up here on radar. Temperatures starting to drop where we're seeing 70s on the North Shore, coastal Mississippi, but still holding on to some low 80s for most of the South Shore. From 24 hours ago, five to six degrees warmer in a few areas. We're going to continue to see this warming trend over the next several days, and the reason for that is our winds aren't out of the north anymore. They're back toward the south, so that humid Gulf of Mexico moisture will continue to fill in in. We'll start to see more cloud cover by Sunday. Winds have been a little breezy today, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's what's happening. Over the past several days, we've slidden down toward that drier air. But what's going to be happening as those winds continue out of the south? Notice the arrow going back more toward that humid side as we continually continuously see that southeasterly flow. And so as we get toward Monday afternoon and evening, you can see those humid conditions really returning along with some pretty high rain chances. So when we lose that northerly wind, we see these 40s and 50s to the north, that cooler air no longer coming into our area. And so that's how we start to warm up. Overnight tonight, we'll continue to see some pretty good conditions, but cloud cover will start to increase. You may see a few more passing clouds tomorrow, but the rainfall holds off until we get into Monday. This front gets the push from another cold front, and then it starts to dive down toward the south. Through the afternoon and early evening on Monday, we're going to see a good shot at some rain. Through Tuesday, with some lingering showers, I'm expecting behind the front, and some cloud cover to kind of linger. So it's not going to be those clear skies and complete dry air that we've seen the past several days. So temperatures will drop some, but it won't get as chilly as we have been seeing. So rain chances tomorrow, not seeing much. 60% on Monday, down to a 50% on Tuesday, and then more dry air starts to move in by Wednesday and the rest of the week. So high temperatures you can see here for the past several days, we're kind of going on a roller coaster ride. 87 on Wednesday, we were down to 79 just yesterday, back up to to 85 today. Over the next several days, we're back up to 89 for Sunday, 88 on Monday. Then look at Wednesday, back down to 76. So this kind of warm, cool pattern is going to continue as we go into next week. Meanwhile, in the tropics, Leslie, the last advisory issued their big impacts to the west coast of Portugal and in the parts of northern Spain. Just from the National Hurricane Center, this area of clustered of storms, a 10% chance of tropical development over the next three to five days, but it is going to encounter conditions less favorable in that time period, so not much time for it to really get its act together. Overnight tonight, mostly clear for us. A nice night still, even though temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer, saying goodbye to some of those 50s we've been seeing on the North Shore, starting out in the 60s to low 70s. A few areas may touch 90 tomorrow, otherwise looking at some pretty nice conditions to wrap up your weekend. Going into early next week, though, those rain chances do increase Monday and Tuesday. Cooler weather for us, especially in the afternoons, Wednesday and Thursday, with another disturbance bringing some rain chances by Friday.